Hello everybody, my name is William Booth and I teach Latin American history at UCL. And today the theme of this talk is uh, national identity, history and how the Mexican government used murals and mural artists to project its view of national identity and its own history. So what you're going to be looking at, your source, uh, are the, the National Palace murals from Mexico City, also known as the History of Mexico. Uh, which were made by the artist Diego Rivera between 1929 and 1935. Rivera is probably the most famous of the Mexican muralists. Um, you may have heard of him, you may have heard of his wife Frida Kahlo as well. They were, they were uh, very famous artists in their own lifetimes and, and, and since, of course. Um, there's three parts of the mural that you'll see from uh, the link sent round to you. Uh, the north wall of uh, the National Palace staircase shows the pre-conquest period, um, we assume it's Aztec life. The middle part shows the bulk of Mexican history since the conquest. And then the south wall shows the contemporary period going into the future and what Rivera imagined the Mexican future might look like. Um, murals were very important um, for the government of Mexico after the Mexican Revolution. It was a, a disproportionately illiterate society, so murals were thought to be a way in which the government could convey ideas, complex ideas about history and national identity in a relatively simple and democratic way. Um, some of the things that I'd like you to have a think about when looking at these uh, paintings uh, in advance of our discussion in the seminar include, first of all, time. How does Rivera use time in these murals? The most obvious way is that we can divide them into effectively past, um, deep past, that is, with the Aztec past, then um, modern past, going back to the conquest, um, and then present and future. But within the murals themselves, particularly within that very large middle mural, how does time work? Um, think about whether it moves in a linear fashion or whether it moves perhaps more like a snake. Um, that's one thing you can do. You can look at the costumes, you can look at the weapons and so on, look at the, the ideas. And if you recognize any of the, the people portrayed, um, that might help. Um, obviously, if you want to go to look at other internet sources to get some clues about who's in there, that's fine, but we'll talk about that more in the seminar too. Secondly, think about who is given prominence in these murals. Um, you'll see lots of national heroes, plenty of villains as well, but also think about how ordinary people are depicted. Um, how are women depicted in these, these murals? Um, there's not many of them, so you'll have to dig around to find them a little bit, but how are women shown? How are people of colour shown? How are indigenous Mexicans um, uh, or Afro-Mexicans shown in these murals? Do you think that really reflects Mexican history um, uh, as it was? And if not, start to think about the political purpose of these murals. What did the government want to be shown here? Now, there's a sub-question there, because Rivera wasn't a loyal member of the governing party. He was a communist. He just happened to be the most talented mural artist available. Um, and Rivera sneaks in some of his own political ideology into these murals too. So maybe uh, have a little look out for that. Clues as to both the politics of the overall project. You know, what, what does this post-revolutionary government want to convey, do you think, by commissioning Rivera to make this mural? But secondly, What's being challenged more subtly by Rivera uh, in, in the construction of these murals? Finally, maybe have a little think about how these would be viewed. Um, think about, you know, some of these images will show people standing in front of them as they come up the staircase within the National Palace. And the first view of them is very claustrophobic. So think about what that might mean when you're pressed right up against this giant mural and then you come round the stairs at the top and then get the sweeping view. Does that tell us anything about the artist's intention too. So we'll be talking a little bit about art and construction of art, we'll be talking a bit about Mexico, um, and also talking a little bit about political ideology and the depiction of political ideology in visual forms. This is used as a source um, in, in several courses that I've taught, but most particularly um, we're using it at the moment in culture and revolutions in the 20th century. 
um, in Latin America. So if you're interested in this, you can find it in that course later in the degree. Thank you. I look forward to speaking to you about Diego Rivera's National Palace murals later.